I feel like a fraud. Okay, so let's talk about Cineworld. So, since this is such a troubled company, let's do a quick analysis and decide whether it's actually worth investing in the future or whether the share price will just continue to drop over the few next few weeks. So Cineworld is the second largest cinema chain going. Uh, it has over 790 sites across Europe and North America. Before COVID, it had a net income of just over half a billion. It's also a heavy investor in cinema technology with multiple 4DX and IMAX cinema screens all over the country, uh, all over Europe and all over America. There is substantial pressure from the general population to come out and enjoy anything um, outside their own homes, having been logged up during the very long COVID period. The major problem that Cineworld has at the moment is its huge, huge debt, um, which is a result of many things, the expansion of the chain, um, going into COVID and having to put without any sales for a long time, um, and more importantly, a recent loss of um, a court case with Cineplex in Canada, uh, which has added, uh, I think it's about half a billion roughly, um, to the whole problem. This has had an adverse effect on the share price. Um, as you can see, it was trading at around 70 a couple of years ago. And um, as of today, with the threat of a dilution of shares, um, those share prices have now dropped straight through the floor and are trading around $7 um, as of the 17th of August. As with all cinemas, um, it's entirely dependent on the product of the films, um, the quality, and whether audiences actually want to come out and watch them. Um, with a plethora of superhero films, uh, this has kind of had a, an adverse effect to a certain degree. Um, but there are a large bunch of films coming up soon. Um, I'm going to show you a few trailers, or a few clips and trailers of films that have come over the summer, um, so you get kind of a, a glimpse of, of what's happened um, generally. I need to have him court-martialed and dishonorably discharged. The end is inevitable, Maverick. These hands were once used for battle. Now they're but humble. I just threw a truck at a dragon. I love my life. The only in theaters trend has um, added a certain um, value to films being shown um, rather than elsewhere. The main threat is the quality of films, I believe. Um, more than anything, nobody's going to pay a high ticket price for a film which is absolutely rubbish. They would rather stay at home and watch it on the TV. Uh, with all the streaming services out there, for a lot of people who can afford it, um, this has become the preferred option. But all of that is meaningless if Cineworld cannot get control of its debt, um, which is what they're planning to do with the dilution of shares. From an amateur investor's point of view, uh, this is a very dangerous company to go long on. Um, going short is even worse. Um, you won't make your money back. Um, at the moment, the only thing I'm doing is scalping, and I would probably advise anybody else who decides to go near it to probably do the same. However, I think as Christmas comes along and we get the new films coming out, I think things will get better.